Just was not up completely. So that's his hey round up rebound. And I have showed y'all how to do a round up before, but not a round up rebound. So you just put your extra power into the rebound. So here we go. Well, that was not the best. So 
like your best. Just like an extra hop at the end of your round walk. So the next trick is a rope jump. And I'm just going to show you how to be doing this specific one because, I mean, why not? So let's take a little sip of water first. Okay, so here's a rope jump. That's a wolf jump, and I will be doing three attempts, so two more. So, yeah. One more. So, yeah. And that is a wolf jump, and how you do it is, whenever you're doing it, you do, it's like, it's got like a split jump, but whenever you do it, you keep your legs together. So, like, not your legs, your knees. So, yeah, that is all to, to, for today. Keep in mind, it was not my best gymnastics, considering I am sick. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for 5,000 subscribers. And bye! Gymnastics with Jeannie! Yeah, yeah! Hey, Jeannie Khan fans! Welcome to the Jeannie and Khan Show! So today, I'm so, so excited because I'm doing another Gymnastics with Jeannie episode. So, um, I'm going to be doing BAM first, and then I'm going to be doing BARS. So, I don't know, super exciting, BAM and BARS, woohoo! So, yeah, let's get started. But, actually, I just want to say something. So, once I'm done showing you all of these skills on BAM and BARS, well, then I'm going to show you a routine I made up myself. So, let's get started. So, on BAM, first I'm going to show you kind of an easy skill. It is a handstand on BAM. So you can do a handstand dismount, you can do a handstand, but for this one we're going to do a handstand just on the BAM like this. Not a handstand dismount, a handstand. So here's how it looks. So that's a handstand on BAM, and let me show you how to do it. So what you do is you get a tight lunge so you can stick it. And um, so a way that my teachers had told me to do it, the, well actually the whole class to do it, is to keep your shoulders and your just your whole body centered on the beam before you go because then it'll make it easier for you to land. So let me show you. So yeah, so get in a tight, tight lunge, squeeze your stomach, and I did land it that time, but you guys saw me do it the first time. So, yeah, that's how you do a handstand, and that was the handstand. And now I'm going to show you a handstand dismount. Now, a handstand dismount is pretty simple as well. So, what you do is you just go into a hot... That was weird. So, you do a side handstand, just a handstand, and then you dismount off of it. So the reason I am a little tilted and stuff is because you do this on like a t t taller beam, like four feet or something. So it's not really working, but I just... So yeah, and let me just show you how to do it. So just as you did, get in a tight lunge and bend your front knee because you don't really start it like that or the teacher will correct you. On your lunge, you need to bend your knee a little bit. And then go down, make it a side, and come down. So that is a side handstand. And since we're on beam, well, I'm going to tell you a little story after we do all of the tricks, if I can remember, but uh, probably remember. So, like, of a bad beam day. But yeah, so. The next trick I'm going to be showing you is a cartwheel. A cartwheel is very simple. On beam, it can be a little tricky for you guys, but I mean, it's really simple for me. I mean, I stick it a lot because it's so fun, and I really like to practice them. So let me show you what one looks like, if I can land it. Hopefully I can, because my balance has been a little bit off. So that's a cartwheel on a beam, and it was just so fun. So... Once again, you get in a lunge, you get in the lunge, and then you just go 
like a cartwheel on the floor. So if you need to practice on the floor, just step off the beam and do a cartwheel on the floor. So yeah, just
but I mean, y'all saw what it looked like. So yeah, it's the next truck. Is gosh, I'm deep light. So I have to get a center, guys. This is make weird sounds and I put my foot in it. So the last trick is da 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 a front walkover. So a front walkover might seem hard on the beam. They are super duper fun. And um of you guys like at my gym well like there's this girl and she can do a front walk over so um and well they're like pretty straight so if you have your front walk over try to make it really straight so you can accomplish it on beam because there is i i just um did it once one day and i was almost there and then i just did it like five more times and i got it for some reason because I guess my um, front walker was already straight on the ground. So let me show you what it looks like when I can land it. Whoop! So yeah, that's what it looks like. Let me show you one more time. Whoa! That's it. And they're so, so fun. So let me show you how to do it. So first of all, you want to get your front walker over on the floor. So, well, that was kind of a bad one, but you know. And then you can move up to a beam. So I have not done it on a high beam yet because I don't have one, and we're not practicing that the gymnastics. But I'd like to see if I have one today. Can you do this? Yeah. So whoa. So my hair freaks me out for there. So yeah, you just. So let me show you how to do it. You start in a tight lunge. You go down, but don't do the slow rotation. And then you do that. Sorry, guys. That looks really bad, but um, it's like a handstand to bridge kick up, you know? So, but in fast rotation. So you do handstand like that. And that was perfect. I landed it perfect on the beam. So. That was a pretty good one. I should I could play. So yeah, that is front walk over. And that was the last trick we're gonna be doing today on beam. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you my routine. So so here we go. I already have it planned, so Okay, Jeannie and Kyle again. So what I was saying was, well, the front walk over is just um you need to practice it before you attempt it on beam. So now I'm gonna get started on the routine. So let's get started. So sorry if it's not my best, just it's kinda hard to do it on this beam, you know? So let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. 
Okay, so let me tilt you this way, guys, so y'all can see. So let's get started. I'm so excited. So the first trick is a cast. So a cast is a very simple move. And by the way, I do not have a number, like a specific number on my finger. I'm just, just showing you guys some tricks. So yeah, and here we go. I should do this. So the first trick is a cast. So for a cast, I'm just going to not do it for letting get up because I'm just showing you this. So a cast. Okay, so that's a cast. You can do small, medium, or large because you, so yeah, and you need to practice your cast for a ton of different skills like back hip circles, um, like, uh, let's see. Just a lot of different skills, and like just a little cast for this round hip circle. So yeah, so let me show you again. So here's how they look. So a small one, a medium one, and a large one. So yeah, or if you're like on the team, or like, really good at gymnastics, well then you can do, go up and do a handstand cast, which I am working on. So yeah, so that's a cast, and all you have to do is bring your hips away from the bar, it's really simple. So the next trick is a pullover, let me show you what it looks like. That's a pullover, Ooh, and they're, they're so, so fun. And I'm just having a blast with them. I have had them for like a long time. The caterpillar for like a year maybe. And it's so fun guys. So let me show you how to do it. So what you do is you can start like this. But like that's for like the begin beginners to walk up. Do that. But a more um, the older or not older but just a more advanced gymnast would do a pullover like this. So yeah, that's a pullover and let me show you how to do it. So yeah, you, you start like this and you can do a pullover just with your legs like together the whole time. So let me try and do one for you. As you can see, my legs did not split on kicking up so you have to be pretty strong to do that. So. Just telling you guys that, so you might not get it every time. So, yeah, woohoo! So, let me show you one more time, and then we'll move on to the next skill. Okay, so the next skill is a back hip circle. Back hip circle is so, so fun. So, to get up, you have to do a pull over, and then you do the back hip circle. So, let me show you. Okay, so back hip circle, you can either do three casts or one cast. I prefer to do one, but first I'm gonna show you a three and then I'll show you a one. So, one, two, three. That is a three ca cast back hip circle. And let me show you then how you do it. So, I'm gonna show you how to do it too, but let me tell you first. So what you want to do is in your cast, you don't want your back to be arched like that. Because whenever I was a beginner, my um, like um, <laughs> my gymnastics teacher would tell me I was a banana, and I did not know what that means, or banana peel. So it means that you're really arched, and I did not know what that meant. So I just kept getting arched and more arched and more arched. That didn't work, so just if you're coach tells you you are a banana or a banana peel, then that means you are arched in a whatever you're doing. So, just want to give you guys a heads up. So, yeah. Ooh. So, the next trick, well actually, I thought I'd go on to the more, more back hip circles before we go on to the next trick. One of my but I don't know what these ones are. So, yeah, let me just show you. So back hip circle. Oh. So yeah, and this is a one cast. 
Yes, that is your goal. Whoa. So that's a one cast back and shrivel bars. <laughs> and I just love them. So yeah, that's a one cast back and shrivel. And how you do it is really simple. You just cast it and go under. I know it might seem a little scary, just a little bit at first whenever you're like a beginner. But I mean, oh, oh. it's not scary once you learn. So yeah, the next trick is a front mill circle. These are pretty, pretty simple. I love doing a front mill circle. I actually love doing them. And they're just so awesome and pretty simple. So you have to do a pullover to get up or you can just jump up. But I'm gonna be doing this. So what you do is with the, um, you do a shoot through, or if you're more beginner, I don't know how to do a shoot through, so, well, so then you can just like lift your leg over, but a shoot through is a cast, you bring the leg through. So yeah, and then what you do is you switch your wrists. Let me show you, so you switch your wrists this way, because if you do it this way, then you will probably hurt yourself. Cause like, oh my gee. You have to do this, like, for me to do it, I have to do this, but then I have to do this. <laughs> so, yeah. So, switch your wrists. And straighten your legs and go forward. So, let me show you what one looks like. Whoa! I almost went forward there, but, um, let me just show you how to do it. So, what you do is you just lift yourself up. And, um, yeah, so you guys lift yourself up and you lift and then go forward. But once you lift your leg, well then, um, oh my gosh, no more face wire, now we just face you one sometimes. Okay, so yeah, but what you do is you don't lift and go forward, like, just like lift and go forward completely. You do what I do. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this or not, but maybe. So when I lift, I go forward. When I go forward, but I did not make it that time. But I pretty much always make it other um, every <laughs> other time. So yeah. So what I do is so whenever I lift my leg, this leg goes onto the bar like. Not like it just like picks up, like it's touching it, like in on like my thigh part, like so. If you like that so yeah, and also with your front mill circle, if you fall, I came up with this thing to where you fall, you just do like this little, like almost like a kip, but it doesn't use as much like energy or muscle as a kip. So, yeah, the next trick is a front mill circle. So, sorry if I cannot actually do it because acrobatics, uh, um, they're like, I can land them every time, but it's not every time, but like out of 10, probably an 8. So, I mean, but on my bars, it's like a 2 out of 10. Like, I can never land them. So, I'm not sure why, if it's just, like, because uh, I don't know if I'm nervous here or what. So, I'm not really nervous, but maybe my brain thinks I'm nervous or something. So, yeah, let's just go and do it. And these are really wobbly, so, yeah. People in Kentucky should don't be concerned. Well, that was a really bad pull over. Okay, so... What you do is you lift up and give me a second. There's my dog Ruby. So yeah, Ruby. I was just talking about that. So Ruby was in one of my vlogs introducing her. She is a Australian Shepherd. She's a Australian Shepherd. She is a puppy. She's five months old and she is so cute. I love her and she is a red Merle Australian Shepherd and she is so cute. I just cannot get over it. And she's still a little puppy, so she. Uh, is like super soft so yeah so you guys probably love seeing her and her name's ruby and 
what we say is although we got cotton first, well, we say Ruby Roo and cotton too. Yeah! Okay, so let's move. Let's keep going on to the gymnastics. And by the way, I will tell you the bean, like the bad day bean tour at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. So. tall like because this is on five feet and I'll show you standing up too but I'm trying to roll my hands okay so I do a little pass and gosh I do not know what that was totally bad nutrition I was completely off so I'm so so sorry about that guys but the jeans 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 and Kaya Cho whoa hey Jeannie and Cotton fans Welcome to the Genie and Cotton Show. So today I'm so, so excited because I'm doing another gymnastics video. And I'm going to be doing bars, beam, and floor. So I'm really excited. So first I'm going to start off with bars because who doesn't like to start off with bars because I mean they're really fun. Okay, so first of all I'm going to show you a trick that I just got in this really exciting I got it a couple of days ago. I probably could have got it sooner, but I mean, yeah, I just tried to do it, and I got it. So, it is called a cherry drop, and you guys have probably heard of it if you guys are a gymnast. So, let me show you what it looks like, and then I'll show you how I, how I do it. Woo. So, that's called a cherry drop, and they're so, so fun. And what it is, is, um, it's, um, cherry drop. So what you, what you do is you put your knees up on the bar, and then you go off of it like a dismount without any hands. As you saw, I did not put my hands down. So I think it's called a cherry drop because maybe it's like cherry dropping from the first thing or whatever. I'm not sure. So, yeah. So let me show you the instructions. So get up on the bar and put your knees on there. I used to think that the chair drop, I was a, a little nervous because of, like, you know, not as advanced. Um, I did this and then I let go with my hands because I knew I couldn't probably let go with that type of momentum. But, um, that's not how you do it, guys. Um, I know it's a little bit scary at first, but once you do it a couple of times, it will, you will, like, being confident to do it. So I'm going to show you it one more time and I'm just going to tell you how to do it while I'm doing it actually. So you get up on the bar, swing, and you just keep swing with your arms. And I usually do three swings. So one, two, three. So yeah, they're so, so fun. So that was the first trick. I don't want to go show you. Because, um, well, because it just is, because you're 
Like, instead of keeping your legs together, here. That's not how you hold that. You're like extending. You're in a straddle, so it's really easy. Yeah. So let me show you how to do it. So you start just like you will at a glide swing. You can jump if you want, but I'm just gonna start like this. So yeah. And then do that. It's really fun. And I so yeah. So that was a shoot through. So then you lift and try. You don't have to make it too too big, like like that, because you might not. Like if you can do it that far, then you pretty much have your split, leg split. So yeah. Then you lift your leg up and woo, go forward. So it's pretty simple actually. But it's kind of hard to get the momentum. So, yeah, let me just show you. So, you lift up, don't be afraid, and then go forward. Ooh. So, yeah, and it's pretty simple because all you're doing is you're just, let me get down. Woo! That was a fail. Okay, so all you're doing is you are, um, you're just lifting yourself up on the bar and going forward forward and trying to get the momentum to come back up. It's super duper fun and backwards ones I have tried it once in the other video in another video but like Okay, so the next trick I'm gonna be doing is gonna be on beam. So I'm just going to move these out of the way and I will show you me on beam. Okay guys, so I moved the vine out of the way and now I have the beam. So, um, yeah, I'm real excited. And, um, this is a short beam because, um, the ceiling is, like, too short to have a large beam. So, let me just show you how to do a full turn. So, a full turn is whenever you do a turn and you land back, land back in the same way you were starting. And a half turn is whenever you go this way. Gosh, it is so hard to land on this because it's so squishy. So yeah, and it's when you land the other way. So let me show you how to do full turn first. Yes, that is harder. So that is a full turn. And it might not look super duper good because this thing was like really floppy. But I mean, I still love my beam. So the next trick I'm going to show you how to do is a half turn. So what you do is um, you put your arm like this. And I usually do like that. And then I do like one finger out. So like this. But whenever you do that, guys, you don't want to do what I just did. You don't want to do like that. You want to try and bring your leg up as big as you can. So the next trick is, like I just want to make sure you all can see it, is a front, oh, not front, a forward roll on the beam. These are so, so fun. Like, um, yeah, so let me just show you. So usually when you're on the high beam at the gym, there's like, it's like four feet tall, you know, 
But, uh, and, um, well, um, there's like a padding thing. But if you're in a short game, then you don't have to have padding thing. So, let me just show you a forward roll, or try and do it. So, what you want to do first is you want to get your head square on the beam. And then try and roll this way. Like, try and roll this way. Woo! So, <laughs> yeah, that was, um, I landed like that, but I mean, I, it was still, <laughs> let's go. A good example. So let me just show you one more time. So, and with the short beam, you don't have to start with your hands in there, but I recommend you do. But, okay. Okay, so I landed it, but my hand went down, but that's okay. So now let me show you how to do it. So make sure you can do a forward roll on the floor straight. And if you can, well then, this is what you do. You put your knees like this. So, like you're a dog. So, yeah, and but you get closer. And then you put your hands on the beam. And then you put your head on the beam. And then you roll forward just like you would on the floor. I, I completely fell off of that. But, you know. So, usually when you are doing front towards rolls well you get a spot and yeah so now i'm going to show you how to do a back to roll and usually this doesn't really work as well as the high gain does because what you do is your head slips off when you're turning like so you don't like roll your head and hurt it so make sure you have a a backward roll or straight arm backward roll or whatever i can do both Okay, so now we're going to do it, and it might be a little challenging because your head does go off, like, in the real one. So, like, let me show you. So, you, you start like this, you when your head's off, and then you roll. So, yeah, roll. So, yeah, and we actually landed it. So, yeah, and it is a little bit challenging with a short beam that's, like, not even, like, two inches off the ground. Okay, so, so, the, so now I'm going to show you how to do it. So how you do it is, you get on your back like this, you just like this, and then you put your head to the side, okay guys, and then you roll your head over, so you roll your feet over, not your head, sorry. So yeah, it is really fun and really easy. Okay, so the next trick is the a straddle dismount, it's not really like a straddle dismount, it's like... Um, it's just for fun, so you do this, like, oh, oh, oh. so, oh uh, yeah, so, that is pretty fun, and it's, like, not that hard, just, like, you might want to have, like, your straddle press on the ground going all the way up, so, yeah, well, that was a fail. Okay, so now I am going to show you how to do it. So you want to make sure you have this on the ground, or even better, straddle press on the ground like that. So, yeah, so if you can do that on the ground, up against the wall or wherever, well then you can try it on a low beam first. If you get it perfect on a low beam and try and practice, like, you don't have to get it perfect, perfect, but you just need to get it a little good before you start on the large beam because the large beam is tall and you could hurt yourself from falling back or something. So, put your hands on the beam and go back, like, swing a little bit, ew. But don't jump because what you do is, so, so, um, you put your hands, but don't, like, jump up like that. You need to use your own momentum and muscle to do it. So like, like that. Oof, but that wasn't, that's amazing. So yeah, now we're going on to floor. So let me just build this. Go on the floor. Okay guys, so now we're going on to floor and the first thing I'm going to show you is just like some
some stretching before we start on four. And yes, you need to stretch before you go on being a bars too. But I'm just going to show you some stretches. So first is a um, straddle. So a straddle. A straddle. And try and make sure it's as big as you can. So a straddle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go forward. You can go forward. Or you can, and you go side to side. So first we're going to go side to side. So go to this side. And go to this side. And then pancake. Hi. So yeah, I love doing pancakes. They're just really simple. So yeah, and the next trick is a, not a trick, a wrist push up. Just like, you know, they make your um, fingers and your wrist stronger. It's a wrist push up. Then we're going to do arm circles. And you guys probably know what this is. An arm circle is good for your arms, but don't go too fast because it is bad for your arms if you go like, like that, like super duper fast. So it's bad for your arms if you do that. So just try and go slow and controlled. Okay. So once you've done that, well, I mean, that you're pretty fun actually. So yeah, the next trick or <laughs> conditioning thing is stretch is a um, split. So we're going to be doing down leg, good leg, and straddle. So, I mean, not straddle, middle, sorry guys. So, what you're going to do in the lunge is go forward. And this is my good leg first, guys. So, go forward in the lunge. Then straighten your legs and kiss it three times. Okay. And then hold the lunge. And then slide into your split. And if your leg is like a little bit twisted, like mine is, kind of do this. Bring it up, and it'll get a little untwisted. So yes, this is my split, and I know my legs are a little twisted on that side. So, yeah, now I'm gonna do the bad leg split. So this is my bad leg. Straighten, and go. And yes, I am pretty flexible, so I can do I can do a split on both legs. And yes, yeah. and then I am almost actually yeah I really can. I'm a little bit sore because I did do gymnastics yesterday, and um I did um vault and floor, so I'm pretty sore. But I'm just gonna try my best on my middle split. So oh yeah, I think I'm I'm doing it all the way. I know my knees aren't straight, but I'm pretty much doing it all the way. So now that is good for stretching. So now I'm going to show you some things. So first of all, I'm going to show you a forward roll on the ground. So a forward roll just looks like this. Well, let me show you. That is a forward roll, and um, I do um really like forward rolls because they're really fun. Like you know. Ooh. So yeah, that is a forward roll, and let me show you how to do it. So how you do it is, you st you usually stand up, or you can do this, but however you feel comfortable. But <coughs> this one I'm going to show you on how to do it, like <coughs> um standing up. So here we go. So what you do is you reach down, and then. So yeah, but let me just show you. If it don't like straighten your legs three times. So yeah. So now I'm gonna show you a handstand forward roll, and we do these at gymnastics, and um, we do them with st st straight arms. So you do a handstand forward roll. So how you do that is obviously, guys, you do a handstand, and then. You go forward, and it's okay to bend your arms a little bit. You're still practicing it, but you just try and do your best. So, so it's actually pretty simple, but like you just can't. Like I've done this before, and it has hurt. Like when you do the handstand forward roll, and then like you um you um fall on your neck, like you like like that with straight arms and it kind of hurts <laughs> but what you need to do is you need to try your 
rest and fall on your back. Like your back. So, yeah, let me show you. So, yeah, that is a handstand forward roll. So, the next thing. So, I actually made this up. It is a, like, it's a, a mix between a cartwheel and a um, front walkover. So, what you do is you do this. It's actually really weird, and you twist your body. <laughs> and it's sort of funky. So, here is how it goes. So, you act like you're doing a, like a cartwheel. So, or, I mean, a handstand. Or front walkover. So, you, sorry. You act like you're doing a front walkover. And then, when you do your front walkover, you twist your leg to the side. It's actually kind of complicated to show you guys. But, um, uh, just, you do a handstand. And then, twist your leg. So, let me show you it in full rotation. So, I actually made it up because I think it's really funny. So, yeah, that's how you do my front cartwheel is what I call it. So, the next trick is a back walk over. And I love these. Like, they're so fun. And, um, the goal is to keep your legs straight and try to keep your legs up. So, like this. Whoa, that was my bad leg. I can't believe I did that. Guys, that was my bad leg. I don't even know how I didn't notice that. Oh my god. That was my bad leg. Wow. That was terrifying. So this is my good leg, guys. I cannot believe I did it with my bad leg. I was not thinking straight, guys. So let me just show you it with my good leg. I can't believe I tried it with my bad leg, but it's kind of funny, actually. So, let me show you it with my bad leg. Like, I'm not going to lift my leg up because I was really thinking. Okay, let me try again. I kind of, I like, um, I don't know, uh, shave it a little bit, but... Okay, so the... Last trick I'm going to be showing you guys is, is a front walkover. It'll really, a front walkover and then a handstand to break, but, you know. So, first of all, you want your handstand to break to do a um, front walkover. So, what you do is do this to get your front walkover. I want you guys to do that if you don't, if you're trying to get your front walkover, but you don't have it yet. So, this is what you do. You do a handstand. And then you do, you stick your leg up. So, um, yeah, let me show you. So, usually when you first get it, you do this. But, I want you guys to try and do it like that. And land it like that, because, um, that's on your way to getting a front walker. So, once you have that, you want to just try and come up, like, a little bit like that. And if you can do that, that's almost the front wall cover. So let me show you. So yeah, just come a little slowly. And then, let's try it full rotation. So, how fun? So yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.